A blessed evening to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Tuesday of the ninth week in Ordinary Time, Memorial of St. Justin Martyr. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to Christ the King will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Dear friends, we now uh, pray to Christ the King, the Sovereign, and present to Him the, our needs and the needs of our world, especially the need for peace. Jesus Christ is King of Kings. Come, Come let, let us adore, adore Him. In deepest reverence, we approach the glorious throne of our risen Lord and King, Jesus Christ, and offer Him the tribute of our homage and adoration. We adore, we adore and praise Him, him to, whom to whom the Eternal, Eternal Father said, said Yours is princely power in the day of your birth, in your holy splendor before the day star. Like the dew, I have begotten you. Lord Jesus, not only do we implore you for your mercy, we earnestly beg of you to reign over us. Your interests must be our own. Fulfill in our time the promises you made to St. Margaret Mary. Hasten and establish the universal reign of your Sacred Heart. Triumph by the reign of your Sacred Heart, O Jesus, before Satan succeeds in corrupting every state of life and leading people far from you and from their eternal salvation. Triumph by the reign of your Sacred Heart and gain the victory of your love in every home. Reign there by your spirit of peace, promised to all joyfully receive you into their hearts. Triumph, Triumph by, by the, the reign of, of your sacred, sacred heart, heart and, and do not, not delay, delay, dear Lord, Lord for, for many homes are suffering bitter evils which you alone can heal. heal. Triumph by the reign of your sacred heart, Grant to priests and religious that by the word and example they draw all people to you to love and serve you faithfully. Triumph by, by the reign of, of your sacred, sacred heart, heart and lighten the youth of today that they grasp the beauty of a clean life, the strength of solid virtue, and the attractiveness of mercy and love as demonstrated by your own life of selfless service to others. Triumph by the reign of your sacred heart. Conquer them by your gospel message, so that their ideal is none other than you, O sacred heart of Jesus. Give them a tender, a tender love, love of your, your virgin, virgin mother, mother, so that, so that they, they learn from her the secrets of the heart, 
that has so loved people. people. Amen. Amen. In the silence of our hearts, let us present our needs and petitions to the merciful heart of Christ the King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it, it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and ever, ever shall, shall be. Amen. Amen. of this Mass as shown on the screen. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Ronnie Crisostomo SVD, Shrine Rector. Our celebration will now begin. Please stand. Come to 
to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and sit at my table. For saints and sinners are friends I wait to welcome the lost And lonely to share the cup of my love Come to the feast of heaven and earth Come to the table of plenty God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. At the beginning of this new month, we thank and praise God for bringing us again to start this uh, new journey of a new month. And today we celebrate the memorial of Saint Justin, martyr, a philosopher who defended the Catholic faith against the pagans and he died as a martyr in uh, Rome. And uh, he was a layman who uh, defended really the rights and the, the fair treatment of uh, the Christians and the Christian faith. We thank God for this gift to his church. And we ask the Lord for pardon and peace for the sins we have committed. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You, are, Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the folly of the cross wondrously taught Saint Justin the martyr, the surpassing knowledge of Jesus Christ, grant us through his intercession that having rejected deception and error, we may become steadfast in the faith through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Tobit. On the night of Pentecost, after I had buried the dead, I, Tobit, went into my courtyard to sleep next to the courtyard wall. My face was uncovered because of the heat. I did not know there were birds perched on the wall above me till their warm droppings settled in my eyes, causing cataracts. I went to see some doctors for a cure, but the more they anointed my eyes with various salves, 
the worse the cataracts became until I could see no more. For four years, I was deprived of eyesight and all my kinsmen were grieved at my condition. Ahikar, however, took care of me for two years until he left for Elamis. At that time, my wife Anna worked for hire at weaving cloth, the kind of work women do. When she sent back the goods to their owners, they would pay her. Late in winter, on the 7th of Distros, she finished the cloth and sent it back to the owners. They paid her the full salary and also gave her a young goat for the table. On entering my house, the goat began to bleat. I called to my wife and said, where did this goat come from? Perhaps it was stolen. Give it back to its owners. We have no right to eat stolen food. She said to me, it was given to me as a bonus over and above my wages. Yet I would not believe her and told her to give it back to its owners. I became very angry with her over this. So she retorted, where are your charitable deeds now? Where are your virtuous acts? See, your true character is finally showing itself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear till he looks down upon his foes. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. The heart of the just one is firm trusting in the Lord. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Pharisees and Herodians were sent to Jesus to ensnare him in his speech. They came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you are not concerned with anyone's opinion. You do not regard a person's status, but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Should we pay or should we not pay? Knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, Why are you testing me? Bring me a denarius to look at. And they brought one to him and said to him, Whose image and inscription is this? They replied, Caesar's. So Jesus said to them, Repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. And they were utterly amazed at him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid na nandito at sa mga nasa ibang dako ng mundo na nakikiisa sa pagsamba dito sa Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. That famous declaration of Jesus give to Caesar what is Caesar's and give to God what is God's taken out from uh, its context of uh, polemics and controversy has been interpreted even today and that is the famous interpretation the traditional interpretation of this that it is demanding a treatment, a just treatment of these two levels of uh, obligations, that of the religious to God and to the civil or political, meaning to Caesar. The uh, question posed to Jesus by those sent by the religious authorities of Jerusalem has this religious color but with a political appearance so to pay tax to Caesar or to the emperor in an occupied uh, Palestine means to recognize or at least to, uh, to give the right to the emperor over the people of God, Israel. So Jesus evaded the trap question with a precise religious uh, choice. He doesn't descend into the level of uh, conflict on political competence but reaffirms here the absolute sovereignty of God. As in the case of the money or the coin, Jesus declares that it is not possible to serve uh, two masters, one on the religious plane and uh, the, the only master is, of course, God. In such a perspective, also, the civil and the political obligations can be fulfilled by Christians without the risks of idolatry or being servile. But another way of looking at this declaration of Jesus proposed by one of the authors that I forgot the, the name that I uh, I read is that he said 
Actually, this declaration of Jesus is, in fact, the most political declaration of his. Why? He said, when he said that uh, since the money bears the uh, face, the image of Caesar, then give back to him this because it belongs to him. No. But give back to God what is God. And the question is, what is this that belongs to God? Of course, we know that what belongs to God, especially in the context of the, the occupation of the Romans of Israel, is, of course, he, Jesus was referring to the land of Israel and the people being subjugated by the Romans. So when Jesus said, well, give back to Caesar what belongs to him, that is in the image of the coin, but give back to God what belongs to God, meaning give back free the land, free these people that belong to God. Isn't that the most political statement declaration of Jesus? Whatever reading I think that we, we subscribe to, to this declaration of Jesus, it affirms and we are reminded of the absolute sovereignty of God that over and above all things, it is God. And we are reminded once again of this fact. While we recognize the autonomy of the state in its service and its obligations, and we are obliged to, to uh, contribute for the common good, yet in the ultimate, in the, the last analysis, the sovereignty of God is the message actually that Jesus wanted to convey in these words, in his declaration. In the midst of concerns of, uh, our, of our lives, may we always go back to our utter dependence on God's sovereignty, that He, that God is in control and that He owns the world. He is our master. He is our Lord. And it is good to be reminded especially in times when we think that we are powerful, that we can manage and uh, save our lives. It is good to be reminded again of our dependence in Him who owns everything. Amen. Please rise. Christians live in two dimensions as citizens of the city of God and as citizens of the world. Let us pray for the needs of this world with our hearts set on the endless kingdom that is to come. That the leaders and members of the church may be true to their calling to be prophetic witness against inhuman crimes and injustices. We pray and say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Rest in you. That government leaders may use justly the things that belong to Caesar. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Rest in you. That community leaders and citizens may have a sense of responsibility as voters and taxpayers. We pray. 
Lord, may our hearts rest in you. That those who are sick may realize that their suffering undertaken in union with Christ can be turned into great blessing. We pray. Lord, may our hearts rest in you. For the most vulnerable in the population, our senior citizens, those who have pre-existing medical conditions, the unemployed and the poor, that they may remain resolute in their belief that God will protect them from illness and help them during these trying times. We pray. Lord, may our hearts rest in you. That those who have passed through death may reach the eternal city. We pray. Lord, Lord, may our hearts rest in you. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, may our hearts rest in you. Lord of all history, we place our requests in your care, knowing that all people, times and events are within your provident plan. We ask this through our Lord, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that these our sacrifice, our prayers, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, that we may celebrate worthily these mysteries with St. Justin strenuously defended. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, Justin, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, show forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness 
you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore o lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven and as we look forward to his second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice look we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his holy spirit may become one body one spirit in christ may he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs saint justin and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, 
advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Onastor Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, especially those we remember in this Holy Mass. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With gratitude and joy in our hearts, we now address our Heavenly Father. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another Christ peace. of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Jesus' word of love, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Jesus' Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold. The Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my, my roof, roof but, but only say, say the, the word, word, and, and my, my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, 
come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of Saint Justin the Martyr, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts we have received. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we, we come, come to you in our need, need to seek, seek your, your protection against the, against the COVID-19 that, that has disturbed, disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to, to look upon us with love, love and by, by your, your healing, healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our, our hope and strengthen and our faith. We, we pray, pray that, that you guide, guide the people tasked to find cures for, for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use, to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and in the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our, May our concern, concern and compassion for, for each other see us through this crisis and lead, and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, your Son, who, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We, we fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not, Do not despise, despise our, our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious, glorious and blessed, blessed Virgin. Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Janssen and Joseph Frey Nademetz. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, your loved ones, your families, also your work and activities, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.